Hello everyone. So today I would like to talk about um, a technique that I use to help navigate tricky, icky situations in relationships. Um, and it could be tricky or it could be really sad and really dense. Um, there could be a lot of anger. And the technique is basically using a mantra or a prayer. And the prayer is, I love and accept you. I love and accept you. And so what it looks like is, here's the situation. The situation is going on between, in this video, I'm going to pretend it's between three people, myself and two other made up names. The situation is going on. It's still going to go on. It's dense. It's heavy. So the first thing you do is step away from the situation. It's still going on. You come over here. Physically, energetically, step away for a few days, whatever that looks like. And you step away. You breathe. You center. That's step one. Step two is you go somewhere quiet and sacred. You just shut the door to your room or whatever. And connect with yourself on your heart, soul, mind level. And you connect with them on a heart, soul, mind level. We are allowing the personality level and the ego level just to take a rest. Because those are the, the levels that are in, are in disagreement. So we connect with ourselves on this higher level on our, with our higher selves and we connect with the other people involved. We connect with their higher selves. Um, you're doing this by yourself in your room. They don't know that you're doing this, okay? And it's, it's, it's a very private, personal practice. So step one, we've stepped away. Step two, we've centered ourselves and we've connected with ourselves and them on a high level, a higher level, on this wisdom level. And then step three, you start saying the mantra or the prayer. Um, I generally will set the timer for however long, one to three minutes, and I'll probably do it over the course over a few days. If it's really dense, maybe I'll do it twice a day. And I just literally say, I start with myself, and I say, Jackie, I love and accept you. 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 And then you put the second person in the rotation. I generally do it like one minute per person, but however it feels good because sometimes you just start crying and you're like, whoa, because it's just something that moves a lot of energy. So anyways, so I finish with myself. You start with yourself. You say, Jackie, I love and accept you. Jackie, I love and accept you. Insert your name, I love and accept you. Insert your name, I love and accept you. Then you go to the next person and this whole time we are connecting with their higher selves. Our higher selves are connecting with their higher selves because clearly our personalities, we're not able to handle this. So we're asking something bigger than ourselves, our minds, our hearts, I mean, not our minds, our hearts, <laughs> to help with the situation. And so after you say, Jackie, I love and accept you, however amount of times that feel, feels good, you go to the next person. Sarah, I love and accept you. 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 Then you go to the third person or however many people there are. In this case situation, I'll just do three. And then I'll just add the third person. Mark, I love and accept you. Mark, I love and accept you. Mark, I love and accept you. And you just continue doing that over the course of a few days. And it's just funny how I'm telling you, it does help lighten situations. Um, and it can even just help with ongoing maintenance, you know? Let's say you just have eye to eye differences with maybe your family, your parents, you know, different generations, you know, some you we have all we have different perspectives. It just kind of helps with this ongoing maintenance and to help with navigating our relationships in a loving and sweet way for ourselves and for them and reconciling that as not on this like personality level, but on this high level on this deep, deep wisdom level. And, you know, for those of you who know the Ho'oponopono prayer, 
the Hawaiian Ancient Prayer of Reconciliation. This is actually probably a watered down version of it. I didn't even realize I was doing it um, up until right before I was recording this video. So I'll put a description or a link about the the Hawaiian Reconciliation Prayer called Ho'oponopono. It's basically just like kind of how I described, but it's a little bit more involved. And for me, I just, this is just much more um, palatable. It's a little bit easier for me. And even though you may not feel like you love and accept them at that moment, maybe you're really angry at them. There's just something in saying these, in this saying the prayer over and over and connecting with them um, that just helps kind of soften the energy. Now, this prayer doesn't necessarily mean that it fixes it. It makes the situation go away. It just helps soften the energy. And from there, you navigate the next steps. So I hope this helps you. This is a technique that I use a lot, and I'm just sharing techniques um, that I have learned and have implemented in my life. So... From my heart to yours, I am sending you L-O-V-E with an exclamation mark. Ciao.